Facebook, this is Mara, and today I'm here with one of my clients, Steve Dale, and Steve is all the way in Idaho. Hey, Steve. Hey, Mara. Hey, thank you for having me on today. So I want to kind of jump right in with you talking through kind of what you do. Okay. So go for it. <laughs> so what do I do? Um, uh, so for the past, um, you know, past 12 years, I've been in the um, contracting world. I'm owning my own residential remodel, remodel contracting business. And then here in this past year, I'm breaking out in the direction of, of coaching, um, helping other remodel contractors um, kind of know there's a better, a better way to, to run their businesses. And so I kind of had this, this passion because uh, in the past, I went through some ups and downs in my business. And, and then I ended up, you know, hiring a business coach and finding that there was a better way. So I really feel like now I'm led to really share, you know, that kind of share that there's a better way than and I'm you know, passionate about helping others now. That's great. Okay. So that was all pre COVID 19 pre COVID yeah. ups and downs. You got yeah. a coach, um, which led you to your passion of wanting to help others through those same situations. Now, yeah. I mean, I, oh. yeah, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I guess I just saw that not only just helping others, but just, I, I have a small family, uh, or a small young, young family. And there were times in during my older kids' um, years that when, when they were younger, that I missed out on some special opportunities. Um, so that's really like where this really drives from is that I've, I, I regret that I missed out on certain things when they were younger in my family. And so I can just see that, that when I see somebody out there that is kind of struggling in those, based on those terms that I just know that there is a better way and that there, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So. Yeah. So adding in that work life balance, being able to appreciate both sides of it. Yeah. You know, work life, health. I mean, all, you know, just, just everything kind of, you know, works together. And if you're not all working together, then you're, it's, it, it can be, stressful and not very much fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that passion, uh, was all before COVID hit. Yeah. What has time away or time apart done to that passion and what are your plans going forward? Well, my plans are going forward is still mean still staying down that coaching path because that's where I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm led. Um, so before COVID, I was about six months ago is when I really decided that I was going to head down that, excuse me, um, head down that coaching path. So I kind of put my contracting business kind of on more of a hold or, or doing less of it and focusing on the coaching. Um, and now based off of COVID-19, I've, it really has forced me to take action and really force me to get some better clarity on how I can help other remodeling contractors. Um, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And like I say, COVID really has, you know, really pushed me in that direction of, of, of taking action and, um, and, you know, making, make, really making that change. Yeah. So we have had multiple conversations previous, but one of those, um, I believe you mentioned how influential your coach was to you. Um, walk through kind of how that helped stir or develop that passion for yourself. Um, well, I guess it was that, you know, I have a, a business degree. Um, I started a, a, a construction business and it's not as easy as it, as it, as it looks. I mean, they don't teach you this and, you know, even in, in school or business school, you come out and you know, you're kind of thrown in the fire and you're, you're learning as you're, as you're going. And so when I made that decision to hire a business coach and kind of investing in myself, investing in my family, um, I realized that there were just simple things that, that I was kind of giving away for free or, or not really taking, even though I thought I was taking it serious is that I had to have somebody else on the outside look in and say, Hey, you know, try the, try these things um you know try focusing on just different strategies in your business and when i started implement implementing them 
I just started having more confidence in myself, um, getting more respect for my clients. And that was the biggest thing by hiring, you know, by investing in a coach is just getting, not only getting more clarity, but getting that, that more, that confidence and that respect, because when you show your clients how you are changing your business operations, it, it you're, you're more of a, on a professional level. Yeah, that's great. So um, they're able to give you a view or a perspective of your company um, that you might not be able to see during whatever is going on. So getting out outside perspective was super important for me because normally um, in the contracting field, you're just always taking advice. You're taking advice from your buddy. You're taking advice from who they learned from. So if it was um, generational, it's they were learning from their dad or their, you know, their dad was learning from their, their grandfather. Um, or it could have been just friends of friends and you know, depending on how they run their business is what you're, you now this is what you're being taught how to run your business. And, and I just, I learned that by having a, having a mentor, um, we're only as good as what we know. And so if we don't know any different, we just go along doing the same things, even if it is like, you know, putting our business into a slow, painful death. And so it, and it's just a, it's the little things, it's the, it's the small things that really can set, that can drive your business towards a more positive direction. Um, I mean, for me, it was just when I started charging for proposals for to clients, um, it was just those little things. And you look at the very, at, you look at it at the very, um, in a yearly basis, and it could just be a very small, I mean, it could be a small amount of, the, for, of revenue source, or it could be a larger um, revenue source. Like I say, for me, it was all about the con just the confidence, the self-confidence it gave me so I can talk to clients in a, I just felt more comfortable around clients. Um, it just, when you, when money comes up, when you're, when you're talking with, when you're talking about money with clients, it can be very stressful. But if you've already kind of taken that equation, that part of the equation out of it, now it just becomes a, a lot more, um, a lot more fluid throughout the whole transaction. Yeah, for sure. So it's definitely um, helped bridge that so that it's business from that side so that it splits the um, the personal versus business. So you can still have that relationship with your clients and not um, get that weird feeling whenever we're talking about money. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like business from the get go um, because you're, you're act you're, you're, you're having a financial transaction at the get go beforehand. If you're just doing all this work for free, um, you know, you're, you're not to me now looking back as I was not operating it as a, as a business years ago, I was, it could have been more like as a, as like a hobby or am I really serious about taking this business to, to the next level? Yeah, so that allowed you um, to run a business by getting that outside perspective, um, helping you walk through the things that you might not have seen otherwise. Oh yeah, most yeah, most definitely, most definitely. And I can say I I'm it's it's kind of um, I'm kind of in, in embarrassed in a sense sometimes that it, it took so long to figure it out. But I am glad that I did finally <laughs> figure figure it out. Um, but you know, when you, it's some, for me too, I think a lot of people have, you have a lot of self pride and it's, it's taking, it's re releasing that and allowing somebody else to come in and, and help you change. And that can, that can be a very stressful thing to allow somebody else on the outside to come in and say, Hey, you know what? You're just not doing things right, but there is a way to get out of it. Yeah. And kind of tying that all back into COVID-19, um, because you had that coach ahead of time, because you went through that ahead of time, you're able to have somebody to go to whenever global pandemics happen. Um, yeah. So that would that be the thing that you want other people to take away from all of this? Yeah, I would say COVID-19 or not, um, we're gonna experience as business owners many challenges throughout our years. I mean, this is just one little speed bump that we're going to be facing. 
And I think it's very important. So I would just really encourage, I would encourage business owners, contractors to really find, to reach out, to find somebody, um, mentor, uh, business coach, just somebody that can kind of help them, help them strengthen their, their business and do not wait. I just say, yeah, don't wait to the last minute to when, when you're faced in a crisis, uh, it's, it's really good to, it's not really good. It's, it's almost necessary to have a game plan in place before something like this happens. Yeah, that's really good. So whether you're a business owner or just random person like me, um, get somebody else to keep you accountable, help you through whatever is going on. For example, COVID-19 to just talk to and be there for you. Um, if it's a business to get an outside perspective, um, because whenever things like this happen, you're emotional and stressed out. And sometimes that fogs, um, how you're thinking. So getting that outside perspective is very, very helpful. So yeah, yes. good advice. So if you take one thing away from this whole, um, meeting, take away the fact that you need somebody else to have, um, input on either yourself or your business to help you through it. Um, we can't get through this by ourselves. <laughs> no. We're, we're in this together. And so get somebody, um, whether it's a business coach or a friend to help you out for sure. Well, Steve, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Um, I am going to put your Facebook business page in the comments below. So if anybody has any questions, they can reach out to you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for taking the time. Well, thank you for having me on and being able to um, talk about this important topic. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope a, the sun comes out for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks you as well. Yeah. All right. And bye.